Hey guys, Gavin here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to start a new series um, in which I will show you how I did one specific shot in one of my projects that I did recently, color grading project. As I'm a professional colorist, um, I always have to work, <laughs> uh, of course, because this uh, YouTube thing is just for fun, at least for now. And I always loved teaching people and... Um, I was thinking that my my first few videos were a bit I I know they were a bit more general generalistic in their approach um just you know how uh, did I get my clients how did I start out stuff like that but um what I also wanted to show you is how I went about with projects with shots what did I do um where can I um, how can I show you that grading isn't that rocket science that everybody uh, says it is <laughs> because it's not most of the time at least there's some specific situations um, of course where it gets a bit more complicated but you can uh, you can reach beautiful goals and beautiful uh, the shots when you just you know keep it basic keep it technical keep it um, keep it clean you know and uh, this is one of the projects I did in the last few months it was for a, a, a an organization that is called FSH and it's uh, it's like a cancer support organization in Germany that helps women that had cancer uh, get back to their feet that reintroduces them to their life you know to a positive attitude and um yeah so um it's a it's a project from a production company called Upper Fast and uh yeah they kindly uh, allowed me to grade this this fine little project here or beautifully shot little project i have to say so um when i was talking to them they gave me some references but they also told me that um the references are a bit too moody and dark and it's just uh, you know the direction with the color scheme the greens a bit um or the the overall tonality of the shots with the blacks a bit more pushed um you know lifted i would say and uh yeah just analog an analog look i would call it and so we have this reference here and uh, we also have this reference here which is uh, stranger things i think i know that girl from stranger things at least <laughs> i think it is um so i proposed to them um you can always see here some of the thumbnails from the other shots but we're talking about this shot today here um so it's kind of an analog look and i oftentimes use um a similar note tree to projects like that so here i am um, i often have my note tree you know you can export um, a dpx file for example with uh, from da vinci and then you can import that dpx to another as a, as a still you know into the into your gallery here you can import it from uh, from this dpx file and um, that's what i did here as usual and then i have to you know just thin it out a bit maybe re remove some of the notes that i tend to use but don't need right here so you can see here's a, a few more notes here on some of them i didn't even use so i broke it down for this shot cleaned it up so basically um i start with uh, if i want the analog look i may I, most of the time i do a color space transform and here we did it with it was re footage i uh, the input color space was re white gamma 3 input gamma lock 3 uh re lock c3 and the output i wanted to have was rec 709 and then i uh, with the output gamma i went with Sinian film log so i could put the kodak film emulation here so it's the, just the basic you know uh rex 9 codec 2383 uh, d65 lot okay so that was basically the starting point um what i did then so let's go a bit further into the shot so as you can see it's a lot 
it's it's very bluish cyanish and uh, but the contrasts are in a proper direction here um so uh i started out with the primaries most of the time also have a note here but i didn't need it for this shot or i cleaned it up and i have the primaries here so i just went and uh you know put some some warmth into the highlights here and i also went and put some warmth into the midtones while still preserving these bluish cyanish greenish tones and what i did here was also a bit more yellowish into the blacks but i i didn't want it to be too green you know so that's when it gets too green i just want a, a nice a nice two-tone color you know with the blue and the the green and you know blue and green is a bit similar and the uh, the warmish tones so that's what i did with uh with the not with the wheels but with the balls here um i always have you know a glow on here which makes it a bit more filmic and uh i just played around with a spread so don't want it to be too too much like clay i would call it and you have to play just play around shine th threshold here it's, it's very low in here uh, you can also you know hear different presets um just try try out what you think might look good without without making it too art too too um how do you call it too fake i don't know do you, yeah i think you know what i mean what I have here in a parallel note, um, because I don't want these two effects to interfere after each other, you know, because I don't want the I, I don't want the glow or the film blur to be manipulated by by the other effect. That's why I use the parallel note here. Um, I often put a, a film blur on here, just a tiny bit, so the the starting value here is zero point five. And I went with 0 0.52 because uh, film stock or uh, analog shot stuff is mostly it's not it's not it's not as sharp as digital sensors, you know. Um, and what I did here in the end was just, you know, raise the saturation a bit. I think it's a bit too much here. Just have to correct it. It's just a project copier that I use, so I can always go back. Um, so I didn't use any mask in this shot. There are some shots like this one here um, where I used a mask. Um, for example, here you can see I made her a bit brighter, but I prefer to keep it um, very natural, no masks, no pics and that stuff, you know, so that's what I prefer to do. That's the frame I wanted to show you. Um, what I did in the before note, um, which I should have done probably in the after note is the, is the noise here, the grain, uh, I, always use film convert for that and also where is it made it a bit more brighter because the client wanted it a bit more brighter so most of the time it's just stuff like that they just say oh we love we like the look and that's always nice to hear that right away but then they say but do it uh, make it a bit more brighter you know then you just go do a before note or an after note depends on what they want uh, so so for example like i said this should have been in the after note and and something like a bit more brighter i always put in the pre-note you know and that's how i built the look and you know with sensors like uh, the the re sensors and the sony venice sensor um you know professional stuff it's kind of easy to get the looks, you know, then it's, it's, it's also very easy to play around and to get to a result that looks good. You know, it's always with those things, it's, um, they look so good right away. It's, it's, um, yeah, I would say it's easy if you have certain tricks, you know, 
So, um, this was <laughs> the first in a series. I just wanted to show you this one, this project that I did. And uh, I hope that many others will follow and hope you enjoyed this one, learn something. And if you have any questions, just write it in the comments. And uh, now I plan to <laughs> put the final movie in at the ending of this, of this video so you can take a look at it. Um, yeah, so enjoy guys. See you in the next one. Cheers. Thank you.